now. Hey y'all. So today, Miss Scarlett is gonna teach me how to do embossing with alcohol inks. Also, this is Bowie. <laughs> Joplin's chewing on something. Trying to unescape. She's trying to break in. Break to in to break out. <laughs> the cell. Break in to walk around the corner. Right. She is. There it is. Where's your camera? It's oh, that there. camera right there. Uh -huh. A little fluff ball. Bowie yeah. says hi too. Bam. Oh, Mooey wants up. Come here, Moo. <laughs> Such a big boy. He seems so big now. I know, right? Isn't that funny? You feel like you're part of it? That's what I was yeah. like. Our kids look ginormous next to her. Hi. Good boy. He's such a cute little fluff ball. Wow, he's a good boy. <laughs> okay. And he is not trying to play with the babes right now. I'll tell you that. So, today, Scarlett is going to teach me how to use alcohol ink and then some embossing stuff, which I've been wanting to do. I've seen a bunch of people use it, and I haven't even almost had time to learn. So, she's going to teach me today. Okay. Um, so, yeah. It's cute little logo. I haven't tried this brand either. So yeah, it's it's a it's a good brand. Um, Jen got me hooked on it. These are Zig. So I have the whole set at home waiting for me to try. And then Scarlett also brought over some Jacquard pearls. Uh, Tim Holtz, the Ranger. Oh, sorry, Ranger. Yeah, I don't own Jacquard yet. I only have the white of the Jacquard, but I need to get like color color because I feel I like they're thicker. Them. But yeah. Anyways, so I've linked all of the things that we're using down in the description box below. You can find them on the Amazon link. Doink, doink, doink. And so, yeah, from the inks to the heat gun, you can find it all down there. So, okay, what's the deal? What do we have to do first? So what I do is I just do my alcohol ink. I Well, first I get alcohol and clean my, what do you call it? So this? I have alcohol wipes. And I do have, this is like just poured. Okay. But this might just be easier, a cleaner way to do that. Okay. But yeah, basically I just do that just to get rid of any fingerprints or dirt or whatever that's going to affect anything sticking to this pier the way you want it. And I do my sides because I like to put alcohol ink on my sides and resin my sides. So I clean the sides. Do you the clean mustard. them all in this? the start of it or just I, as you go? I clean them all at the every time I do a new one. I okay, don't, so you don't have to go through them all? No, because so we'll save that because we'll dust good. falls, mm -hmm. right? That's true. So I'm like, meh. And then, yeah, I just pick a color and go. Pick a color and go. <laughs> so this is 99% alcohol in both of these. The bottle looks like, the bottle looks like this. Um, Jen got this for me. You can probably find it on Amazon. I don't have it linked, however. Yeah, you can get, I got it on Amazon. The, it's like a big jug of 99% and it came with four in a case, four big jug bottles of 99. And I just fill one of these up with it. I, every time I just top it off. So I need to get a red because I saw in your stamp collection a flower. And so mm -hmm. I'm gonna try to do. If you want to do with alcohol, then I suggest, yes, you get a red. Otherwise, Deception is a really cool, fun red of the pearls. So do you have to shake the pearls as much uh -huh. as you have to, like, the metallic? Yeah, be, yeah. Well, no, not as much because that, I don't know, for some reason, the metallic seems really, like, thick. But this, you just, you can see in it, inside the bottom there. Here, let me show you the green. Best. You can like face it right here. Okay. I don't want to it's, move it too much so you can see the bottom. But you see how it's like lighter. Oh, you're trying the, to show them that. Yeah. How it's separated. The, uh huh. Like that. Yeah. So that stuff is the sediment of the pearl, basically. Um, fixative that you just want to shake up, and it sounds like a nail polish, you know, or a spray can. Ooh, I'm gonna shake this one. Or a spray can, like 
you can hear it. And you just want to give it a good pouncy pound, shaky shake, and make sure you don't see anything on your. Basically, I keep shaking until I don't see anything like on the bottom. Okay, nice. But the key with these two, because again, it's heavier, so it, the, it it floats back down. So you want to like shake whatever you're doing and then put it on. <laughs> shake what your mama gave you. Yeah. So you told me that you should not use alcohol yes. with those. Yes. Yeah, so for some reason, alcohol pearls, even though it straight up is an alcohol ink and it says alcohol pearls, it literally like get it repels the alcohol repels it. They separate and it makes these weird chunky beady. It doesn't flow. So with the parole, you either use it by itself, or you know together, solution. or just alcohol blending solution. And mm. I use the Tim Holtz one. I know there's other types that do similar, like Jacquard carries or whatever. I haven't tried it, but it's basically the same thing. So if you have it, use that. But yeah, no alcohol with the pearls. It's so crazy how it changes color. Mm -hmm. Like, it's supposed to be red, it looks orange, and now it's turning like a purpley red. Right? So Jen taught me indirect heat. So you like push where you don't want the heat and then just push it inward. Ah. That's what she was talking about with indirect heat. Okay. And that's how she says you can get infinity rings. So see that, how it looks. Oh my gosh. Like that. And that was like so super quick. Yeah, just, that's nuts. Okay, I gotta try it. So you just keep hitting <gasps> as many times as you want to. That's so crazy. And that'll put those infinity rings out. I'll show you guys a close up in just a second. Oh my gosh, that is so insane. Look at that. I don't know. Can you guys? Oh, yeah. Just push the close up later. Yeah, I'll do the close up in just a second. That's like crazy nuts to me. So. Do you want me to put this down a little? Something? That is No, amazing. I need it up there so it gets both okay. workstations in. Thank you, though, B. Look at that. Look at that. You see the rings? You can totally see the rings on there. So cool. <laughs> so that is fun. Okay, so happy is, about that. Right? This is a new one, so I'm gonna try this out for the first time. This is the one that Jen had used. Did she keep this thingy on it? Um, I don't remember. But try it and see. Maybe it'll work like that platypus attachment. Whoa. It's like parkour. Is that low? Um, so it's off, cool, then low. So it's like click oh, it so up twice. Yeah. Okay. Oh my god. So it's the same thing, so you just go back and forth. Mm -hmm. So, but heat it for just a second. So yeah, it's starting to do it right okay. there. Okay. So every time you bring it back, it's gonna create that, that, that line. wave. I see. It's just different, it's longer, be whoa, sorry, because of this. Yep, it's just more. Uh, That's weird, okay. I don't know if I like the top of this thing. That is way too dark. <laughs> <laughs> so just, you can take that part off and it's on. Yeah, I don't really like it. This is crazy. So, oops, I didn't mix this. Super pumped about this embossing deal. Yeah, it's super simple. Like once you do it, it's so so simple. I'm gonna have to get more alcohol to wipe to thin that out. It's like way dark. That purple is way dark. <laughs> it is way dark, but it's a good looking color. It is. Yeah, it's just like less is more. For sure. This color is called Smolder. Yeah, I really like the names they chose for um I think I might have to take this little extension thingy off. I'm not very good with the thing itself. I think that would be a really good thing for if you were working on like a painting. Yeah. Maybe it's just too much for. It says release. I think it's hot. <laughs> User error. <laughs> Happens to me so all the time. Okay. Let's try this one. 
new blending solution. I feel like I would use way too much blending solution. I do, um, but I use way too much everything, ink and blending solution, because um, I'm not, you know, I don't want to do them. And I want it a flow. I blob this off basically because so much. Like to differ, I think you do know what you're doing. <laughs> I don't think I've ever done a piece that didn't have alcohol on it. It's scary. Really? My knees are rag. It's a waste of too much alcohol doing it like this. There's a rag over there. There's, it's also in that rolling shelf under you on the top rack. There. Yeah, that'll be much easier. So that looks interesting. <laughs> Let's change it up a little bit. Different. Well, that's kind awesome of the good thing, thing about, about it. Yeah, <laughs> I was just about to say, awesome thing about alcohol inks is you can just literally start over. If you don't like something. Put that blending solution out there without being ready for it. So it's probably going to dry on me. These pearl ones work a lot like the metallics. Yeah. Like the colors sink. Yep. I'm gonna go rogue and add a little bit of alcohol. Just to play with it and see. You know what, it might react different because it's on a tile. It might not beat up. Because when I did it, I would use, um, it wasn't you. Or, I mean, sorry, it was Yupo paper. Uh, yeah. So I don't know if that, you know, maybe it'll flow more because it's on the tile. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. I'm digging it. You. <laughs> Girl, don't even worry about that. It's what it's there for. It's there to get messy. To me, alcohol inks are like a stress-free medium. Like, there's not a whole lot you can con do to control it, so it's kind of like, put it all on there and see what happens. <laughs> see what it does. It's like an adventure for me. I don't know what this color is, but it may be my new favorite color. Oh, it's I love that one. called Intrigue. Uh -huh. I think I used that one on that one I did with the bird. Well, I love that one. Did you put them in timeout? Are they in playpen timeout? These are like totally different than the other. They like beat up. Mm hmm Than the, this with the regular alcohol. Yeah. It's like a totally different for me. I'm like, huh. <laughs> I also have some Copics and other brands of alcohol inks. So if I'm not doing anything in particular, I like to, and if I'm using just regular alcohol inks, I like to just like coat my tiles, basically. Okay. Yeah, these are totally different way to, than what I'm used to. This uh, inky. Uh oh. Someone's sad. Yeah. Little Mrs. Whiny. If you just blow on it, it'll spread. Mm-hmm. Fun. I tried. It is fun. I try not to blow though, because it also. Um, I. <gasps> You're right. If you okay. So. Ugh. Oh, that's see? what happens. That's what she was warning me not to put alcohol down because it kind of like curdles yeah look at that and then and Ugh. you never you can never like undo it because i added a ton of blending solution it doesn't work it just wastes it mm -hmm. it never goes back so no weird why is this acting like it floats not do that. To go away. 
But let's okay. So this, super this one weird. may need to dry first. So look, it's like it's it's like what the heck? That's so weird, right? So you did put. Isn't that weird? It might be because there's heat on it. Is it warm at all? Nope. Mm -hmm. That's so strange. Right? I got a dead tile. <laughs> this one's broken. <laughs> I'm like, why aren't you staying? Stay. Hit it with some heat and see what it does. Yeah, I should bake it in. That's so weird though to me. That's why I'm like, what is going on over here? I'm not functioning. Okay. But usually like with the cold, when you blow on his stuff, it is so weird. <sighs> it's repelling all together. Yeah. I mean like, I kept struggling. Like, why is this not working? That is different. What the heck? So. I didn't do that on your tile. Mm-mm. You used the square first too, right? I did. That's so weird. That that's so. What is going on? Why aren't you staying? That's weird. I'll do the pearls and we'll stay with the pearl. dry. I've never seen that. Right? That's why I'm like, what's happening with this top? But I did notice. Look at it. It's like um, something's wrong with this specific one because check it out. The tile itself is absorbing from the sides. You see that? That's crazy. Which I've never seen either. And I always do my sides. And I'm like, what the heck? So somehow it's not, I don't know. How is it, right? Ooh, that's crazy. That's just strange. Yeah, I think I'm gonna just change out the top. <laughs> I would. Do a different one. Yeah, that would be good. I don't know. I'm gonna have more square. I have a stack of squares right here. Why don't you, ma'am? No. So now that I had, okay, I added alcohol first and then two of the regular colors from Zig. Pretty. I'm gonna see if I can add a blending solution. Since this is completely dry, I'm going to add a blending solution and see if I can use the the other dudes, some of these guys, the metallic. Ugh, I keep like adding things without being prepared. Now mm -hmm. I'm stuck shaking this <laughs> while this is. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I do that all the time. Let's see, what do I want to use? Hopefully right, this will end up. Where's that smoke? Smolder. Let's try that. Oops, sorry. You're totally fine. Yeah, see, I'm used to controlling it through that. That's so much easier for me because it's got a smaller airway, you know? Mm -hmm. right, well, do you um, want to use this one? Uh, maybe. You're welcome to it. So if I keep messing up, then I will go back to what I'm used to. <laughs> That's not a problem. You're the expert and you know what you're into. So, <laughs> field test results. If you want to blend out with using alcohol first, and dry it all so nothing's moving. Yes, yeah, set it all up and then use a blending solution and the shimmers. The pearls. Yes. It'll work. So that's what that is. Awesome, awesome. Done. So because I'm not that talented with alcohol inks, I always end up doing. Um, oh, gosh. Mm hmm. I've done that. <laughs> Doing that, you were saying? <laughs> I just always set them on fire because... Fire? You light fire on them? You've never lit an alcohol ink on fire? Mm -mm. Girl, I'm about to rock your world All right. today. Yeah, I've seen people do it, but I've never done it because I don't... I don't. You don't like playing with fire? Um, no, no I, I just don't want to burn my house down because where I am, it's carpet, you know? Where I work. Yeah. So I'm like, that's a good thought. Yeah, the missus is like, don't you dare set my house on fire. I'm like, okay. Okay, I guess I won't. Now that you said something. But if you hadn't said something, I would totally caught the house on fire. <laughs> so Jeff is the resident. Let me actually. Caution. Yours. What do you need? This one? Yeah. The resident caution police. Safety yes. first. He is Mr. Safety first. And um, 
So it's awesome because I feel like these are not wanting to stay. That's so strange. <laughs> that looks really neat side. though. Oh, it's like selling up in a weird way. What is, what is, what am I doing? Weird. Mm -hmm. Yours didn't do that? Didn't. So let's do, let's just put the squares away because maybe they're. <coughs> Here, I can, I think I can put it onto my. That's super weird though. Why? Okay. That's the second one. Start over. All right. Not bad. I ruined your film. Oh no. See, the great thing about our channel is that. I don't want everything to be perfect. I want people to see that mistakes happen or things Oops. sometimes don't come out right or what. This wasn't the one I wanted, but that's okay. Oh, sorry. It's a good green. It is a great green. So sometimes things don't turn out the way you want it to and oh, it's okay, you know? Zero percent into the world. Right. I'm going to use this um, duster to create movement on this piece. You can also do the rings with this. Just light taps of air. And what creates those rings is that it sets. Right, as you blow it. That's why I tried not to blow too much because I know with the, um, the inks, like when, or as soon as you blow it, it stops it from it flowing, you know, like the movement of mm -hmm. the blending. Basically keeps it, it keeps it in place. The good so if you want it to not like if you like what you have and you're like, oh, like keep it there, then don't blow on it. You know, or blow on it, I mean right then and there and then leave it. Mm -hmm. And it'll help set where you want it. Well putting those two colors together made an interesting Ooh, third color. Right? looks like it's accepting the alcohol in mm -hmm. so much better. I don't know what the deal was, but <laughs> Dude, it's pretty crazy, huh? I'm just gonna move this one out of the way. Mm -hmm. I love working with alcohol inks because it's like so quick. I feel like. Yeah, you can move next to your attention and it goes, whoop, okay, done, moving on. All right, done, check, done. Mm -hmm. It allows you to keep going and have fun and change it up if you're over the lawn. That's what I love about that too. And it's so elegant looking that the alcohol inks, like they can be so soft. Yeah. Super pretty. And you can really do so much with them. People paint just straight up, like paintbrush paint. Like, I make art with a whole painting with just alcohol ink by dipping it. I mean, such a neat effect. That yeah, is gorgeous. And if you want to change it up again, you just re wet it with alcohol. And so can, you can I see that guy? For sure. Thank you, ma'am. Mm -hmm. That's like if your husband needs a coaster and he's into like camouflage. Right? Well, because I was trying to do this for uh, Jeff, so that way the what I'm gonna stamp on it remember oh yeah for the man I wanted to have to have manly colors <laughs> I don't know like me so the fun fact about Tim Holtz alcohol inks is that he has in his caps a specific little pocket of air so that way you can keep it uncapped and not have to worry about it drying out. I didn't know that. Did longer. you Google that? No, no, no. I just, uh, uh, he does YouTube stuff, channels where he describes his things and shows what, how they work and what he does. And so one of the alcohol inks specifically, I know on one of his YouTube videos, he stated that. So that way, you know, you can leave it uncapped and not like you know, I mean, not forever, about but, it yeah, out. but you can get away with doing something for a while That's and, super awesome. and just cap it. Because in the beginning I was like, 
there would be this little bead coming up and I'm like suck, sucking it up. But the whole point of that bubble, that little bead is, is specifically to block whatever's below so it doesn't escape. I was like, oh. That's just genius. Mm -hmm. There you go, Tim Holtz. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna be prepared this time. I'm gonna have that open and ready. I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna just put this down first. Bleep, bleep. I wasn't ready. <laughs> Again. <laughs> just wanted to add some sparkle because who doesn't like some sparkle? All right, the bling be bling. Love it. It's super fun. They're just doing amazing things with colors I would never have thought to use. Huh? Okay. Doing amazing things with colors I would never have thought to use. Oh, thank you. I'm gonna put this right here. here. <laughs> that works. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, my rock girl. I'm sorry. Good. <laughs> Awesome process you've got there, man. <laughs> so, how do you go about choosing what colors you're going to use? Uh, I just look at, I just tend to pick two colors when it comes for these. I think what works best for me, um, what do you call it, um, for the coasters. And then I just look at what colors I have and see what looks best, like what combo looks best. Eye wise to me it looks good, and then that's how I choose it. Well, we've got a great system because it works. So, which green do you think you'd prefer? I like the lighter actually. Oh, huh? I think I do too. Yeah. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually. Intrigue and Smolder don't uh -huh. really work that well together. I actually like it, but I have different tastes sometimes. Maybe it's the light. I think it looks cool. Um, if it was, especially if you thin this, I bet you it would look, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like it wasn't like super, like a softer smolder would look good with your intrigue, I think. So I'm gonna add, wait, is this the right one? No, that's the same one. I need I the this sublime. This I'm gonna add on top and see if that'll, I can make it. I feel like you might show me up. Oh no no no! There's no showing up. I'm literally doing things that I've taught you've taught me. Jen's taught me, like watching you, like literally awesome showing work. you what you guys have shown me. So and it's just like trial and error. A lot of it is more error for me than. <laughs> oh right! <laughs> I have so many errors. <laughs> People are like, you make it look so easy. I'm like, you haven't watched enough videos because it is not pretty all of the time. This is true though. Like you do make it look really easy. So I get that. I get why people say that. But yeah, but you're right. We only see what you, I don't well, no, Cause you do a lot of lives and your stuff is bomb. Well, I, I post win, lose, draw. Right. I do like, because I have seen you do stuff where you're like, oh, I don't really care for that. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not really liking that either. I'm not feeling that one. But I really appreciate that because it shows like, okay, so even the greats can like not uh, like everything they do all the time or come out exactly how they wanted it every time. Right? I think it's important for people to see that, mm -hmm. that side of the art because it can't be always perfect. No. Especially if you're a trial and error person. Totally. Okay, so it helps. It helps it look a little more like it's part of. Like I didn't put a different color on there. <laughs> and then I overheat mine because, like this little bit, I want it to be super dry. Um. Because you know how like the underneath can be tacky? Mm -hmm. So I just like to overheat just to make sure it cooks it faster because even though we're gonna seal it, 
um, I like to have it make sure it's super dry and that seal because then I, I use this to dry it that because I'm impatient. And then um, I do the chalky chalk so I don't want the, it sticking uh, and then it peeling off because it wasn't like dry underneath. I get it. Great thing. This needs more yellow. Can I borrow that? Yes, ma'am. I was holding it just for you. So. And this goes out so you can lay it down if you want to. To set it. Like that part well, that's out. handy. Yeah. So, yeah. This is good. Cool. So I'm going to move this now so I don't actually use it again. <laughs> those are beautiful. Ooh, I love those colors. Are those rad? Anytime I do any art that's not like a painting painting, I always end up using some form of the primary colors or some form of the secondary colors. Mm -hmm. Smart. Have you ever like, you know with resin, if you add too much heat, it it's can dry. like scorch it or boil it? Mm-hmm. Can that happen with alcohol inks? I think you can, I don't know about cooking it, because I, like I said, uh, it doesn't smoke, but it does, it'll immediately dry it, so it won't move mm -hmm. anywhere. So that's, in that sense, I don't think you could like burn burn it, where it will like smoke or anything. Mm -hmm. I just think it like immediately dries and you don't get flow. And then it doesn't look cute. I'm gonna scoot this in so they can see what you're up to. Okay. Well, sorry. The only thing I wish this cord was longer because of that. You know what I mean? Usually I plug things in under here, but I've taken that extension cord. It's short even at home for me. Okay, I'm gonna try this tranquil. How old are you going to wait till you teach Maddox how to art? I already play with him with art, watercolors, and not this stuff, obviously, because he would just get it everywhere and, you know what I mean, try to eat it. <laughs> but as soon as I can, basically, I mean, I introduce him to things like crayons and markers, and we color in the tub all the time, too. So he's arting all the time. He just doesn't know he is, I guess. <laughs> No, he probably but I just do, looks at like, it like play. Uh-huh, and I do, and that's what it is for me. I do the watercolor um, books. You know those books where, like, when you were a kid, it had, it's kind of like where it's pre-colored, so all you do is wet it with water <gasps> and the colors come I remember through. those. I got a bunch of those, so I do that with him. I he loved that it. that was even invented. Do dollar store, um, like, when I first moved here, the dollar store near my house, I got, like, three of them or three or four different kinds, but I got like all of them they had. Uh, because I knew I wanted to do it and I knew that we were gonna have a baby and I wanted our kid to be able to do it. But I always buy things so that way I can do it too. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I would do the same. Like when we were in Vegas, we bought the uh, Crayola made this and I had never seen it, it was when we stopped at Bye Bye Baby. Ooh, yes down for those dude i'm down for all these I have, i've been in my own little world over here and you're like bing, 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 bing. <gasps> wow i really like those colors miss erica just making a set over here with the same color <laughs> a set is great yeah. i just i just get going and i'm like okay next time i do one which will be in four minutes i'm gonna do these colors next time i'm gonna do nice one, i'm gonna do these I colors like that because then um you can, it gets to show more things that work together too. I just wanted to make a set for your mister. Mister, mister. He's in there pup sitting. Mm-hmm. He was already a minute ago. And I do uh, this size on Amazon, gives you a big one. I can't find it at like 
the local Hobby Lobby or whatever. They sell like the smaller of the blending. But on Amazon, you get like a nice, really big one. Yeah, if you're earning a lot, you're going to go through it. Mm -hmm. See, that color is so dark, but it's so pretty. So literally like a dot lasts forever mm -hmm. on that thing. Mm -hmm. But bam. Mm -hmm. You got Carrie to do this with you yet? No. I got her to play with alcohol inks one time with me. Um, she was doing a thing for a co-worker. Um, and she wanted it to kill it to see if it would stay on her glass because she was doing it on glass. Mm. Um, so she started to get into it a little bit. But once she realized it could like burn off at a certain basically. So I'm wondering if this fire thing might you say that'll be a new... But well, it super smells if you put it in a kiln like bad forever. And then it, even, it literally burns it to where it turns white and then it just disappears. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> On glass. Yeah, that's crazy. I know. I know. Yeah, she was so hoping fear. it would bake in two and stay because I'm like, oh, well, people, you know, set on fire, torch it. So I assumed that, you know, was good enough. But apparently. So I'm going to close up these pearls because you cannot catch the pearls on fire they will just do nothing pretty they just watch out because that's hot <gasps> burns oh yeah i showed you mine i don't know oh my gosh that's the thing thing oh it's the front of a heat gun ow that was a fun ow. time ow it almost looks like a basketball. That's what I thought. <laughs> Someone asked me if I was into basketball. I was like, what are you talking about? They were like, your scarification. <laughs> Tattoo. Like, no. Because that is a thing, the branding. Oh, it's crazy that, that that's a thing. I know. I know. If you are hardcore. As if you couldn't make things more painful, you're going to now burn. <laughs> yeah. We're burning now. Yeah. Okay. i put this over here. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. when you do um when you're going to catch something on fire you have to be really careful obviously because alcohol yes flammable. can catch on fire and yes. just set everything ablaze super super flammable so what i'm gonna do is mm -hmm. move that aside mm -hmm. oops sorry and i have this mm -hmm. metal pan is this brick? This is a brick. So usually I lift things with like those triangles or uh -huh. these spray paint caps, but all of those things are plastic. Right. So if you tried you know. to do that, <laughs> it wouldn't melt. Mm -hmm. So I'm also going to get a sheet of aluminum foil to extra protect under that. Ooh, smart. Do you have any pro tips you can share with people while I'm over here? Uh, I'm not a pro, but I, um, I don't don't think so <laughs> yeah. I don't I've never done the fire at all so I mean technically I've seen um, on YouTube channels I forget this one woman I saw I want I need to look her up anyway because she had some amazing stuff um, and it was like she literally would use one one drop of alcohol ink and just rubbing alcohol and you know and she would just keep i mean a whole like ginormous page with like two drops of alcohol would fill this whole page up she just kept blowing it and blowing it. i was like oh my gosh so literally less is more mm -hmm. and these things i mean they seem small because i'm always like why is everything so small because i go through everything so crazily fast mm -hmm. but that's why because you really literally only need like a drop of something and move it around and just you're good to go so so I'm going to move this up to here so that the people can see it up close. I also have on hand my fire extinguisher. It is somewhere. Ah, here it is. So 
I did have Pauline on channel one time and I did catch my studio on fire, so. <laughs> then I was sent one of these. Oh. Oh, is it like a foam? Where Tundra it extinguishes fires. Yeah. It's you can. Interesting. Crazy helpful. So. Okay. And that you can get on Amazon? I'm sure. I haven't looked, but I think it came in an Amazon box, so. Handy. So we have this camera all the way up here. This flame is not going to get this high. And we have this side angle, and that side angle, so everybody can see what's going on. Okay. Um, in this area, I don't put... Move my super saturated alcohol rags. Yeah, I don't uh -huh. put anything in and around the area that's saturated with alcohol. You want to keep all that stuff away, safety first. For sure. Um, and then I'm just going to use my little creme brulee torch. torch that's almost out of juice. But it's enough to start a fire. Mm. And so, okay, this is my process. I just put alcohol down that, so that this can blend. Just a couple of drops of any color. Let's do a blue. You're flowing that way. Mm -hmm. I usually just give it a swirl or blow it. Ooh. Just to give it some motion. For sure. Then, oh, you torch the whole alcohol. Ah, whoa, whoa. And it's going to burn off and give an interesting look. Oh, yes, I see it. I see it. But this apparently is one of those coasters that it's not grabbing well. Right? How weird is that? But that part is so cool. That's like your thingy thing. Mm hmm. So, Weird, right? There must be some residue that we're not understanding. But at the same time, it's seeping inside it. So I'm thinking something's wrong with whatever this material is. They, they're ceramic. Like they must have made a weird mix or something. Because that's not, that's not right. Ooh, it would have been so pretty. Look at this one so pretty. That's crazy. It's like yeah. on ring. So from now, we'll just make sure that we do this. <gasps> Maybe it's that. Maybe it's the wet wipe. I didn't wipe this one. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know. When you go to pick them up, things up, always look uh -huh. underneath before you grab it because sometimes the alcohol will drip under and still be on fire oh. and you will burn yourself. Smart. Thank you for that. So I'm going to put that one aside and we're going to try this again. Some alcohol. Color. And a yellow. I just want to make sure all the corners are covered. Let's try again. Ooh, that's pretty. Hopefully it'll burn off more easily this time. Well, it definitely will look like it flowed better to begin with. It's still oh, patching. It is. That's so weird. Okay, this is not normally what happens with these, just so you know. It's not. <laughs> That's so strange. And I have a bunch of squares, so I'm like, this can't be. So I guess this, I wonder, are these the ones I brought? Or the ones that you have that are doing this? Well, this one is one that you brought. Okay. Let's so see. let's not put any of that, let's not use that alcohol wipe. Let's see. Mm. Oh, because mm. it would have been so pretty. Yep. Put that in the trash pile. Let's try this again. Because my brand's the same as your brand that you have. It's the exact same brand. Well, alcohol looks like it's normal. It's not like going away, so that's good. I'm going to grab a couple of these like pinata colors. There you go. Just do. I feel like, and uh, visually, I've never used a pinata ink, but it looks thicker to me. Is it? It, yeah. So far, it, they look denser, and I'm like, oh, I need to get some because they look like a like a richer, like you will use less because it's so thick. Because I really like a dark, vibrant, which is why I use more on mine. Because I really mm. like an intense. Ooh, ooh! I just love that. Look at that. Ooh. Some motion. I'll see if I did that, that would have been like, bleh, you know, for me. That yellow and that purple would have just turned to ugly this on mine. 
If I would have moved it around more, it would have probably turned brown. Okay. That's why I do wrong. Crazy. It's the same as with like. Um, so if you add alcohol again, you know how reactivate will it reactivate now that you put a fire, or is it like kind of seal it, seal it? Oh yeah, it'll it'll do. Oh, that's rad. Okay. Mm, that's pretty wonderful. But since I caught it on fire, it'll it's have, hot. Oh. And so it'll set up, it'll Faster. do its own thing quicker. Okay. That's cool, though, that you can still wipe it off if you didn't like it or... Oh, yeah. Alcohol links are really forgiving no matter what process it's you It's crazy. Use. It's like a tree. Ooh, I just blew some of it out. Sorry. It's like a tree, like rings. That's so nuts. That's so nice. You can barely see it, but it's still on fire under the side. It hasn't burned out yet. Okay. I can't see from my angle. Okay. So. That's nuts. It'll so give you like, like soft effortless. rings. I love it. But I love that like airy, wispy. Very concerned about why this is happening. Let's just make it do over. Also, you don't want to try to catch uh, the blending solution on fire. It will not do what you want it to. Really? It'll like. Is it like clump a clump or something? I think it is. It just doesn't. Doesn't do anything pretty. Good to know. So it looks like whatever the problem was has burned off or incorporated or otherwise. Yeah, it's like just staying to the edges now because you've yeah. got it most of it off. Weird. <sighs> Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. It's so soft looking. I love it, yes. And most people could do this like on their own. And I'm like amazed, but it's like the less is more concept to get that kind of super light airy, which is what you were doing on yours over there, by the way, this thing. I like <laughs> soft look. I do, but I also dig the like super lines too. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I like bolt, I like it all. Those like hard accent lines. Mm -hmm. Like that. I love, I love that. Like, I love the contrast of it, but I also love the light and airy. So it's like a soft. Yes, tree. it's so pretty. So I'm gonna try. Did you see this one? Like a pearl. That's crazy. That's so cool. Well, that's thanks to you. Got that one. So you can just like move it around and. Yeah, it's like key to move it around and then be fast to light it so that way it burns it off. Whatever that film is, it doesn't like. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, if you film doing this, you have to keep everything out of the way. Super high. <laughs> wow, that's so pretty though. I would just. Mm -hmm. It's such a soft. I love how many rings you get in there. That's so cool. I like that it's got this dark. Yes. See, and that's what I mean. I love the I love the depth of that. The, oh, that's so perfect. Make sure. See. Now, is it hot? It is. Like as if you used a heat gun. Okay. It is very temperature hot. Okay. It almost looks like it's glowing right here because of right? the depth of that color. It's so crazy. It's not wanting to focus on it, but this is. It's a little bit more purple than blue, but other than that, it's true representation of what it looks like in person. Well, blam. <laughs> so, now we know. All right, it's your turn. All right. Get my burn on. Let's see, little titi torch. Torch, titi torch. What color is, what color is? The other orange. Torch. Is there an orange, is this orange? How do you know the color on these? It's yellow. Oh. There's, um, Usually a little sticker. This says lemon yellow. On okay. Side. I want an orange. Orange. Bright yellow. I think the orange is over here. Medium yellow. Fish color. Oh, flesh color. Like fish <laughs> color. I was like, that's color. interesting. <laughs> Light crime. It's yellow too. Light pink. orange. Sweet. Of course, green. This is so beautiful. Okay, so there's a lot of things on there. All right. So, alcohol. 
pull it up first. Mm -hmm. And then, mixy mix. So what colors are you doing? So I am doing turquoise green. Oh, that one just orange. And orange from the Cure Color Ink Zig Refills. Whoop. There you go. Whoop. I just focused. It's all blink. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now I know this is more of these. Mm -hmm. For some reason, the yellows and oranges, the light ones, I always end up putting a little bit more because it's like, uh -huh. you know what I mean? Yeah, they're just they sent out. They'll get lost. Don't do that to me. There it goes. Yeah. You get more of this one. I want it darker. It's gonna do that thing. So yeah. We're gonna have to re redo it. Reburn it. Okay. That's why I was like, hold on, don't do it to me. I saw it beating up. I'm like, what the mm -hmm. hey? For a second, I thought it was. I thought it was. That's a bigger flame, so you don't have to get as close. Oh. Um, this I thought maybe it's the zig, maybe I'm not, you know what I mean? I did it with the pinatas too, but but yeah, I did it with the pearls, so I'm like, okay, it's not, it's not what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm like, it's so weird, they must have coated it with something different, yeah. But now at least we know you can just or somebody had a film on their hand, mm -hmm. now we know you can just reburn it off, or you just use straight up resin on these and not have to worry about it. Mm -hmm. That's so cool, that part, though. Oh, I love it, the little baby ring. Ooh, so, I heard it. Mm -hmm. It was in there. Because right. when the alcohol drops under it, mm -hmm. it'll stay on fire. Fire. Let's see if I can keep... Oops, not a little bit, but I guess not. Boop, boop, boop. Get on, get on, get your bass up. It's still warm on this side. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dang, yeah, isn't that weird? It's all sizzling. <laughs> that was crazy. There we go. Let's mix it Did it work? I'm like all nervous. Like, yeah, don't be nervous. That's so strange. It is. So then it does cool little pockets of rings. So mm -hmm. it's kind of cool. See so how you can almost barely see this fire that's on this edge right oh, here? Oh, now I can. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what'll burn you if you're not careful. When you grab it, for sure. Mm -hmm. Like it's still on fire right now. Oh, yeah, I can barely see it underneath on this side. Mm -hmm. Wow, you really got to get a right angle on that then. Yeah, you can see it over it's almost here. Almost invisible. Mine's so smoky. Crazy, but I still think that's sick. So, ooh, Sorry, it's looking. super warm. Yeah, that thing was on fire for a while. How so pretty! Cool. I mean, look at that. It's like a cavern. You know what I mean? When you go in the caves, like a like yes. Arizona, like Grand Canyon. Ooh, so exactly cool. that. You have another color palette in mind? Yes. What's cool about lighting them on fire is that you don't really have to do anything. You just watch and enjoy. If you enjoy the show, you know? Mm -hmm. This, what? Orange? I think it's I a red. It red. Yeah, it'll, once it goes, it'll. Ooh, sorry, I got caught on me. You're good. Ooh, that's cool, that dab right there. <laughs> you so just sweet. set it on fire and watch the show, you know? Right, totally. That is so awesome. Yeah, what a trip. That's so interesting. You just have to make sure you use all the proper safety precautions, like nothing flammable in any drip area. For sure. Or above where it can flame up, because it does get pretty high, folks. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, that's right. Look at the purple come out of that. It's an awesome looking one. That is sick. Ooh, that's like a perfect little in the center. You know what? I wonder if we just did alcohol and get this um, and burn the alcohol just by itself first to burn off whatever the layer is. You know what I mean? We can give it a shot. And then maybe you can get your the complete of what you wanted. That's a great answer to what's going on here. Like, you don't even have to catch that on fire. It just looks like it's supposed to be that way. Right. And look in the camera. It looks like it's glowing. Oh, for sure, right? Let's try it. It's a great looking piece. Also super hot. So, let's just flame on that. Yeah, let's try that. Let's try alcoholing it up. We're rubbing it in. So that way, we know we hit all this stuff with the alcohol. And then we'll light alcohol on just kind of scrub it right <laughs> and then where is it watch my fingers because I got drippies maybe it'll help burn off whatever is on there because mm -hmm. you see all the little fibers yeah that's so weird yeah maybe accidentally something poured or dumped in or when you're make, mixing or like an oil or something see that film yeah and even isn't that weird y'all can't see it on the camera but you can see like dirt lines kind of yeah Maybe but i'm not gonna touch finger. it no, so i'm not gonna touch it with anything else um not gonna wipe it off because so once you burn something on this though it's... you have to move it really quickly yeah to add color look at it, it's still right here in this corner repelling Yep. Oh, oh. Still repelling in that corner. Hit it. Oh, let me add some yellow. Ready? Go for it. Did it work? Oh, there it is. Whoa. See this drip off? Yeah. That's why you don't want to do it over paper or anything like that. You you don't have to be nervous about it because there's nothing here that will catch on fire. It's just okay. going to burn out. So this can't? No, it's aluminum. Okay. And to even protect more against that, this is a metal sheet pan. Okay. So as long as it doesn't drip outside of this, it's fine. Okay. It'll burn out. See how it's all on fire down uh -huh. here? <laughs> you don't really want to blow this because if it's a lot of liquid alcohol down there it and it's it. it'll spew so okay. just let it burn out okay because it will at some point since it's 99 percent alcohol there's not a whole lot of anything else in it it'll burn out really quickly mm -hmm. and this is still on fire because we tilted it and so it's all caught on this edge mm -hmm. and under here is where yeah, that'll get that. you and it was all, it went straight down. That's mm -hmm. why it was a big old, it's still, yep. yeah. So you have to be cautious, yeah, but if you're prepared with, you know, everything non-flammable and a fire extinguisher. It's on fire on the back side too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's like the brick it looks like. <laughs> but as long as you're prepared. True. It's and a, don't panic. It's a, right. That's major is not to panic it's still literally on fire right here yeah same here on underneath of this side it's on fire Ooh, okay. i'm just trying to put it out yeah there was a lot of alcohol because i was like shh, trying to get it to sizzle and not sizzle but see it was still repelling from the side isn't that trip it is so it's even more smoothie and less isn't that trip well that's because it was a warm so you know how alcohol evaporates when you hit the warm mm -hmm. on it? It's, it's preheated, yeah. so it just is. Super set, yeah. So, so it's still super warm, and there's still a fire down here. So I'm just going to take the whole thing, and then we can get ready for the embossing. Okay. 
And by the time we do that, this will have gone out. Bow shape. Very interesting. So pretty. So I love this. This is like a stained glass to me. This one. I I, I love working with alcohol inks. I love one that day each I'm one is be, totally different. Yes, the uniqueness is something I like about all the fluid types mm -hmm. of art. So we're gonna take the fire away. So there's no like if it knocks over, you know, anything accidental. Right. Okay. So. Right now we need to seal these with the spray. Okay, so the spray that you usually use is what? I use uh, UV archival, the only thing I use. I don't have that, I have these. And a lot of people use this one I know of, mm -hmm. but I've never used that one. So we will use this. The main thing you have to be sure of that there's n no alcohol in this because that's what reactivates everything, Yeah, obviously. Well, that's not obvious unless you're told. You know? Yeah. That's true. Especially if you've never done alcohol. Like, I had to watch videos like this to know it will reactivate. So. That's gorgeous. I'm going to do one over here so that we can see if it does do anything hinky, you know? Mm -hmm. So Probably this not. is completely set. Sorry, that wasn't a good display. There's no red. Yeah. Yeah. So after you shake it up really well, I usually like do a side spray so I can see how much is coming out because different caps spray different amounts. And I'm just going to lightly dust over it. And it looks like it's not doing anything, which is what you want when you do a sealing spray, mm -hmm. you know? So cool. Yeah, because you never want something that you did, you like, and then it to change. <laughs> That's like, nah. the worst thing. Mm-hmm. It's crazy how it makes it more vibrant. I know, I love that. It's like it rewets it all over again. These are actually pretty vibrant though, on their own. That's true too. And that's really cool too. Alcohol inks stay pretty. And that's what I really like about the Zig when you guys were using the Zigs, it's the fact that it was still so vibrant. I was like, wow. The colors, I like, I like really um, intense colors. Did I do this one already? I think I did. No, I don't think so. It's okay. It won't hurt it. <laughs> no, it's not going to hurt anything. When you use spray anything, make sure you're in a well-ventilated area. If you're sensitive at all to anything, have um, a window open or do it outside. Face mask. Face mask. Mm -hmm. I am... Um, we're in a super ventilated room and I have the windows open. I think that's all of them. Oh, all these. Oh, I didn't know if you wanted to spray those. Oh, of course. Which I'll, I could totally do them too, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spray it. <laughs> oh, shit. I actually really like this one. I do too. And I would have never put <laughs> those, those colors, colors together, together <laughs> in a million years, but you have shown me the way. <laughs> So you get the sides too, right? Because I like to put uh, resin over the sides and I don't want to like reactivate with the resin. Um, we can. This way. The cool thing, is yours UV protected too? Yes, this is UV protectant. Yeah, so that's what's cool is like, it's triple like protected when you, well, if you're using a UV resin plus the UV seal, Mm -hmm. Um, so that way it's, I mean, it's really not going to super hard for yellow on you for a long time if it ever does, you know? Well, yeah, that's, that's true because alcohol inks aren't really light fast. So you have to make sure you take every precaution to seal them. Yeah, it's better to be safe than sorry. Now people ask that all the time, they're like, if you're using a UV resistant resin, then why bother? So well, that, it, because the alcohol ink will get reactivated just by being wet from the resin, sometimes it'll bleed it, you know, 
Yeah, particularly if you use like the quick coat because the heat will. Yeah, cook it out. <laughs> Sweet. Might as well do these. For sure, those are great. And the cool thing is they may not look that great color wise, but this is what's gonna be amazing about embossing is if there's a spot you like, stick your embossing image on that part. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> and then it'll it'll hide a defect or it'll just make it look even better or whatever, you know? Perfect, so that's these guys. Oh shit. So while those are drying, let's pick out a stamp. Yes. Did I'm you, gonna just spray this guy. You sprayed this one too, right? Oh yeah, that's pretty. Yeah. Okay. I think that was the first one. So you pick out a stamp because I have mine picked for these four. Let me, yeah, put a new piece of paper down so we don't. Oh yeah, so we can put this off again. And we will need, do you have like, oopsies. Do you have like a, what do you call, um, printer paper? Yeah, because that's what you'll, I, I just use that underneath the powders when I emboss, so that way it, um, you could, you know, when you dump it out, you can refill your, this thing, the container back with it. Ah, uh, makes sense. Um, I do have printer paper, but more handy I have this. Oh, paper. there you go. Yeah, whatever, just to go like this and then get back. Perfect. Nice pro tip. So... And when we get there, I'll say that then, but I just wanted to Good. think ahead a reminder. of what you needed. So you have every stamp ever invented, looks <laughs> like. Not at all, but <laughs> I wish. <laughs> so fun and sketchy. Are these cool? I really like Tim Holtz, like his, especially the Stampers Anonymous. I really like that arts, artistic style and... He does like inventor stuff and just different. Well, I like these sayings. Things. So you just like uh -huh. pull them off of this mm -hmm. and they just get re-stuck on there when mm -hmm. you're done with them. Yeah. Fancy. Mm -hmm. <gasps> yeah. And that's I love you, this one. You, you can have words. You don't have to have images on your, on your tiles. You can do whatever you want. These are great. Aren't they cool? So I, I literally have a book with just saying stuff too, but, and you know, but they do that, like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like I'll keep the words that were on the thing. So some of them are intermixed. Okay. These are great. <laughs> so are and these fun? These little fairies? Yeah, they're like, the music? I know, it's not be yourself. Sing, sing your, your heart, heart songs. songs. Oh, sing your heart songs. <laughs> For like baby, I've done like baby, um, like, you know, like cards for people. Mm -hmm. Digging the cupcake. There you go. So do these ever become not sticky to put back on here? Or is it, no, it just I've is? never, it, it always is. It's just the rubber that it just adheres. I've never had a problem with it not sticking. And these are all from the Tim Holtz collection? Uh-huh. The Stampers Anonymous oh, of Tim Holtz collection. Okay. Because he does, Tim Holtz does other collections, but the, I really dig his Stampers Anonymous one. Well, they're all like sketchy, like a like ours drew. Yeah, it's a work like in progress style. design. Yeah, uh -huh. so it's really fun. And a lot of his are true, actual like diagrams. Yeah, he'll have. I don't know how he. I don't know if he gets a resin or what, but is that more of things like this? Th well, this one's a Halloween one. I grabbed that one's just the people and places and things. These are the flowers. These are clear. So you were saying that the clear ones are awesome because... Um, well, they're thin, so you don't have to take out your... Uh, the padding in the tool. But so I I don't know. I just... I like his stuff, which are the rubber. Otherwise, I prefer to get clear. Because mm -hmm. they, they tend to mark really well. A lot of people's rubber don't mark as well as clear. But he, you know, makes sure because that's what he does for a living. So he's right. actually really good with the rubber because he actually makes cards and stuff. I'm digging these like 
design. Are those cool? Sketches, these little ladies. Uh-huh. I like the like steampunky. He's doing a series, it's more masculine. Um, I think they come out this fun. month. And for men, and I really wanna, I need to get him. But yeah. Definitely wanna do a flower. Okay. But that has a word on it too. Mm-hmm. There's words throughout. I have no idea what this says. It's backwards. <laughs> this is grateful for you. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> so, may kindness return to you in the same way it was given. And then just little things for you. Heart I have so you can put them together. Like, I hurt you or something. Right? <laughs> Super cute. We're going to use these. And this one's just the Halloween one because I wanted to do Make that. Make sure this boy's not getting into something he shouldn't be. Okay. Hi. These are fun. Mm -hmm. Super cute. Oh, I know. I really. If I had an orange one. Listen, zombies love you for what's on the inside. <laughs> Always be yourself unless you can be a zombie. <laughs> and just creak in doorless chambers. It's fine. Right? <laughs> Super cute. I like all these like sketchy designs. Ooh, spider webs. Mm -hmm. Let's do, I'm gonna do like one of these on the purple one. Okay. And there's one with the spider over here. Uh, okay, we're going with this one. She got the pee scared out of her earlier because um, the sprinklers came on while we were out there. I don't know what the deal is. Is that Athena's mommy? That is Athena's mommy. She's been acting fine. We had people over and she um, greeted them without any... <laughs> you okay, Miss? Potty problems. Okay. All right. Okay, so now that we sealed, we just need to, I use the heat gun just to make sure it's super dry or whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. The sealant stuff. Because we have to put chalk on it, so we don't want it sticky. So right. basically, whatever you're going to do, just heat that bad boy up. To How much longer do you do this for? Like, the heat gun? I dry, yeah. I just super dry to make sure it's dry. we got to make sure because we sprayed it. I forgot we did that. Spray. Yeah, you don't want it tacky basically because you gotta chalk your stuff up. Yeah. And the chalking is so it doesn't, any static clean doesn't appear, so your embossing powder just sticks to where you want it only and then the rest goes off. So this one's dry. Mm -hmm. I always use the back of my hand because I already know that it won't have that much. Mm -hmm. paint on it so it's not going to transfer Smart. all right so that should be good to go yep and then so which 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 <laughs> which one are you going to do um which, uh, tile which stamp so tell so them what that is so this is called a misty tool and it's basically it's m-i-s-t-i it's in her link um and it's literally a stamping guide, so it gives you, so you always can re-stamp multiple stamps without slightly, actually, accidentally, like, you know, 
stamping your image and then you just slightly re-stamp in the wrong area and then it's blurred. <laughs> So right. you can stamp multiple times the same thing and it just keeps it where you want it. And the measurements are so that way you always know you line it up whatever you have if you lined it here, hence the grid. These are little inserts it comes with and it just makes it thicker if you had something that was thin like a card and you put it here. It also comes with, a, I just wrap tape around it so that way um, I can easily pick it up and same with the door handle hinge. But um, it's a magnet so this stuff is a really hard magnet so if you had something down and you didn't want it to move even more so your project then you just line up where you want oh i like this or whatever what are you going to do on here uh we can do that one this, okay how do you want to lay it on your and i personally put things in a corner oh let me get this out of here oh coming little one <laughs> because it's just easier for me to know Oops, I stuck my glove. I'll just leave that there. <laughs> Crazy babes. Okay. So I always take this out because this is pretty thick. And these are pretty thick too, the rubber stamps. Mm -hmm. So when you find out how you want to lay it, I always put it in the corner just so it's easy. I know to just shove, shove, and then I'll always be, if you're doing a set of four and you want them to line up always on the same. Mm -hmm. So that way when you stack them, they all look the same if you want. I'm and just gonna put it right in the middle. Okay. So I do it So put your wherever. picture where you can see, right in the middle. Mm -hmm. And put it exactly how you want it. And then you just take the door and you close it and you press and then it catches. Oops, sorry. So you close it, you press, not hard, it doesn't have to be, but then it clings. So now, as long as you keep this down here, always, if you change it out, this will always stamp exactly any one you do in the middle. Well, that's just genius. Mm -hmm. That looks middle-ish. Mm. So you got your grid lines to show you and help you if you, and the measurement if you yeah. want to change it. So I'm one, two, three, four. Yeah. I need to face it towards you if you want to. Four lines. And three lines on that side. So so this can get re-sticky every time. Yeah. It never unloses its stick. It's just kind of like a, I don't know, it's just rubber. It's just, I don't know what it is. But it's it literally sinks when you squish it. So I don't know what it's made of, the top part. All right. But it's brilliant. Yeah, Here and it's go. easy. Like literally, it clings. So you don't really need to like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Look at, <laughs> it just picks up, picks up easy cheese. Right. So that's what's brilliant. And then, okay, so before you do anything, you always want to chalk your piece image. And what it is, it's literally, there's these, I have both kinds are the same. It has chalk inside. And it's called a chalk pillow. And this has chalk, it's like a little brush that you can dust it on. And you just tap your chalk and you'll see, I'll do a lot so you can see the powder. And this keeps static cling from anything. Oh, I'll do this all the way around. Oh, I just wanted to show them that that yeah. was the dust. And so you wanna make sure your piece is really dry before you do that. Yeah. yeah. So you want, as you'll see, something on here has a little bit of color because I think I was impatient one day. And learn that. <laughs> no. No? Don't blow it. You want it to not be blown because trust me, it'll come off. You'll do that after. Because the whole point of that is you want it to be nice and thick because when we go to do our um, stamp, it'll literally stay on there. So when we do the embossing, we'll see. I'll show you because I don't want to get ahead. Okay. Okay. So now this is the ink I use. Just kidding. Oh, here it is. All right. So it's called Versamark ink. It's a watermark stamp pad and it's literally clear. So there, it's called Versamark ink. And mine looks dingy because again, I was impatient one day and I was stamping and so it picks it up, but it's like white and I brought both just in case if you, I didn't know if you wanted to open it and show them Ow. a real one if that matters. It'll be fine. Okay. So you take your stamp, and this is the cool thing about the door. I always do, I'm a lefty, you can have it any which way. Just mm -hmm. put it flat. And then you want the whole image? Yeah. Okay. 
So then you just pounce, 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 pounce. And since it's clear, it's like really sticky like a glue, but you'll see the shine once you stick it on yeah. your product. Hence, you want a lot of powder. <laughs> For me, at least. You can kind of see the shine on that. Yeah, the shimmer just looks wet. It looks like a glossy. So then you take it and you just... Now this I would press kind of firm because see how it's so much thicker and yep. harder. Just to get your edges and all your little things. But you don't have to do super, super hard because then it can blur your image. But just right. good enough. And then you ah. see the wetness. Y'all, we can see it. There it is. See that? So because there's that chalk, you can see the sheen. Now if there wasn't any chalk, <coughs> bless you. And you did this, you would just have to look at an angle and you would see the sheen. <laughs> so we, we need to move this for the next part, right? Yeah, but let's just make sure the image is good enough that you don't want to double stamp. No, yeah, you got a perfect. Good. And then what I do is I place a piece of paper like your thing that comes with, just so the sticky doesn't get on here. Yeah. This thing is her core. Huh. I should have wrapped this better. There you go. And no then, transfer. So now normally you would have, let's hope it is on here. Yeah, for sure. So normally you would have a piece of, any kind of piece of paper I, I just use, or you can have, for example, you can have a, bin and pour your embossing powder and hold your thing over this if i'm you down want for it. black for this one you want black okay yeah because this is such a light bright color oh sure so you just use a spoon and dust it on there that's what i do it's such an interesting yeah it's just basically powder and you just put it all over your thing just to make sure you got the image and just thick i just like heavy-handed just to make sure, because sometimes you can't really see well and you're like, did I get it all? Okay, yeah. And then you just dump it straight up. There you go. And then tap, tap, tap. Mm -hmm. Y'all, I did it! <laughs> this is how you make an ice cream cone. Yes. On a so, coaster. Mm -hmm. It's not focusing, but that's okay. There you go. How fun <laughs> is that? So as you'll see, there's that excess um, little black powders around, right? Yeah. yeah. Cujo. So now that I can put that in. Sorry, y'all. No worries. Hey. Cujo. Hey. Enough. It helps to make sure you have your little bits pushed away because whatever this power on once you put a heat gun on it it stays for life it's so you just kind of want to make sure you get your this lid back on because the moment you blow it'll go or heat up so i don't blow until life's gone mm. but like that is probably not a design i always check there's a brush yeah i'm just gonna blow it but I always check and see my image and go, is that supposed to be part of the... Nope. And so I go, okay. And then I just blow it. And then what doesn't come off, then you take your finger or a brush and move it. And it probably from pressing so hard is like the excess stick of when I went stamp, stamp, stamp. This happens to me. Mm -hmm. And I just, so I you just blow it and wipe it off and you'll be good. Good you go. Super. And it helps with that excess powder everywhere. Bless you. Because of that, because you said a paintbrush is where? Okay. Because um, it allows it to not stick as, you know, unless you have your thing on there. Um, so you can easily just keep blowing it off. Because if you didn't, then as you're swiping, it would adhere to all this. It's such a pain in the butt. I see. So yeah, so it was just, you can see the film of that. That's why it's stuck to that part because nice. I do it all the time when I press too hard. But then you wipe it off. It's no big deal. Perfect. So next step. We do something else to this? Yeah, the final step, because this won't stay, as you see, you can rub it off, is the heat gun. And this is just a Wagner. I prefer the Wagner heat gun tool, embossing tool. And then you just heat it up. And basically what most of these like have a sheen to it so it goes like this powder which is like a dull matte look 
and then as it heats up you'll see a sheen and then it glides over and that's when you know it's set so just kind of overall heat you can't burn it or anything really i mean i guess you could if you went too much but it's a tile so it's pretty forgiving but normally you'd be like move 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 you wouldn't want to just set it like that but it's a tile so you can <laughs> mm -hmm. and it's not gonna really so you just wait till you see it and i'll show you when it starts to go you'll see it like shine just needs to heat up Okay. There it goes. You see how it's bubbling? Yeah. I'm getting wet, and then you just glide alongside. So you just do that in the whole. So that's thing. basically like bonding it to the. Yep. Yeah, it's like almost like a. I don't know if it's made. The powder's made out of a plastic or something. You know what I mean? Because it looks like plastic melting. Maybe it is. But it just embosses it. I was using like a glitter. Say again? I had this embossing powder that I was just using like a glitter. Uh huh. Um, I don't know. Oh, okay. So, it's by Recollections. Oh, cool. Oh, wow. And I don't know if it works the same. But it's if it's embossing powder, it totally does. Let's see, all embossing powder. Any brand, it's this exact same way always. I wasn't sure because it has glitter in it. Like mine, um, some of mine have glitter. Off. And it just doesn't melt as much. The glitter it stays a little bit chunkier, so I kind of do it longer because of that. But mine have glitter in them that I have, that I brought. Like, for example, the black tinsel mm. sparkle is the one I use on the birds. So... Careful See that it's hot. shiny now? Mm -hmm. And that's it. Sweet. And then it cools off and then boom, you resin, you're good to go. I'm going to put this over here. That's the last. Uh, Ready to resin. Yeah, that's like the last step um, is just that I do. I mean, you can leave it as is if you want or whatever you want. But the last step, I, you know, is the resin. And you don't have to like seal it again is what I mean. That's just awesome. Okay. That's it. Let's do more of those. Oh, shit. So, I'm going to do... Yeah, just remove you. Yeah. While you're getting ready, I'm just going to... Play. For sure, yeah. You got all these to do. <laughs> oh, no. Hmm. Can I borrow your um, glittery... Yeah, these are all, like, use whatever you want. Uh -huh. So there's this one. There's this blue that's glitter. Um, there's the, the straight up shimmer. These are a little light gray, though, because they tend to come off, I know. So no matter how much I heat them, I'm like, mm. So. There's green that has glitter. You have all the glittery things. Yeah, I think the rest are matte besides these pearl, like, perfect pearls. Um, but again, like, I feel like even though you heat them up, I feel like they still kind of rub off. Mm -hmm. How long does the stamp stay sticky once these you do this? Matte. It stays until forever, until it literally the stick comes off. So it's not like a certain time where it dries away. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, gotcha. and then... Um, just try to try to do like this so that way it'll get the weight but hopefully not get in between part or if you'll do what i have to do which is just wipe it off no big deal but sometimes that can get tedious if you're doing a ton <laughs> i found out okay now i gotta see how i want to do this looks like a spider web yeah and again, if you wanted, even when you pick it up, if you want to redo it, since you put corner, corner, and you kept that there, you could put this down and stamp, stamp, stamp your ink again, re-ink it, and did you do the chalk? Shit. I, I mean, hate when I do that. Dang it. You know what I do? Here, watch do this. 
This is gonna be weird, but I this saves me because I always go, oh, I'll do it. It won't be a big deal, and it becomes. A big it's deal. totally a big deal. Yeah, for me okay. at least. But I just I lightly chop over it. And, and then I this will be good for restamping. Yeah, and then I restamp. I just put this back in there, and I would re-ink it and stuff. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I put my things away. That's why I messed you up. I know. I would have definitely messed this up. I would have just filled it with. So it was this side up. Do I have to re? Yes. I would. Just Sticky because it. you take some away, you know, every time you stick. Where is it? Oh. <laughs> I'm like hoarding everything. <laughs> Girl, it's good. <coughs> Excuse me. I want this to yeah. I can bring them. How fun that I don't have to worry about it like lining up. Right? Don't my mind. biggest thing is remembering the chalk. Nope, that's apparently my downfall as well. Yeah, because I've done it where I'm like, eh, I'll forget it, I'm impatient, and then I've cursed myself every time after the fact. Mm -hmm. And it's just worth chalking over your imprint and then redoing it. I'm gonna get another small piece of paper so that I don't have Oh, excuse me, I'm sorry, you guys. I'm not coughing in your face, please. Yeah, and then you could just dump it back in. So but you this definitely is want to do that. black sparkle. Mm -hmm. I love that stuff. Because it's cool because it's like rainbow glitter when, even though the black stays, but the, like the glitter is like kind of rainbow y. It's weird. Like little unicorns. Unicorns are one of my favorite mm -hmm. creatures. Check it. Go. Yep. Perfect. So it's kind of wonky. I didn't pay attention to this angle. So you can fix it for your next one. I can. I'm not going to hit it with the heat just yet. I'm going to do that like and if you mass want, production Since style. you sealed it, you can wipe it off too if you want. Oh, yeah. And redo it. But it's not that serious. Okay. So now that I have this. Yeah, and then you just, exactly. I do that with my all my glitters anyways. Mm -hmm. Not not down to waste. Did you forget to? Yes, the chalk, just like I <laughs> The struggle's real, y'all. The struggle's <laughs> super real. Oh my gosh, that's too funny. I'm like, don't forget the chalk. <laughs> and then forget the chalk. Yeah. And then you just completely forget it. Living on the struggle bus today. So that's Ooh, that looks sick though. Do you see the dust like how it like that hint of it? Yeah. I love that. What Cujo? Okay, what do I do with them? Mm -hmm. And with these, I would like dump 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 dump. So you don't have to do this, you know what I mean? Because the thicker you get it to stick, the better. Because then this, oh, your gotcha. image is like super solid. Let's see. All right. Oh, I hope he likes these. I'm sure he will. I should have asked the colors they like. Cujo. He's in there just talking to me and I can't even... Can't right now, son. <laughs> How super fun. Oh, almost did the thing. Oh, without chalk. Chalk. See? Good catch, good catch. What did I do with it here? Sorry. Mm -hmm. 
I don't have these little chalk doodads up. Mm. Cujo. That'd be weird. That'd be kind of cool, huh, on the blue? What, little pup? He hears something outside that he's not a fan of. Mm-hmm. Um. I'll do the black tinsel for him. Do you think I should do black tinsel or just solid matte black for him? Um, probably just the matte. Super excited. Mm-hmm. So now, FYI, for somebody like myself, I do, I know, like I said, do assembly line is much faster way to do it, but for someone like me who's super klutz, I literally do one at a time uh, when it comes to, hi, hi babies, when it comes to putting the powder, embossing powder on and then immediately heat it because I will accidentally like rub my thing off and then like, you know, I mess it up and have to redo it and like, boo. Waste gotcha. product. So I I have to because I'm I just am fuzzy. I like that. That's a nice No worries. Oh that's sick. Gonna be pretty, I hope. Uh yeah. At least that's a game plan. It is an accurate game plan. So I was gonna do one of these guys, but that's not going to show up quite See, so ladies well. and gents, klutzy. <laughs> oh, I just don't have an, a lot of room over here, it seems like. I don't know where I work either. Like, that's why I'm like, mm-mm, I know me. I messed up. Just put it down. Yeah, I'll move this one. Okay, go for it. Because <laughs> I know I'm doing that. So, like, I thought embossing would be a lot more difficult. No, it's super, 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 super easy. What is it, baby pup? That's why I'm able to do it. Okay, Moose, hold on. You go potty? I don't think so. Damn. He's gonna love that. Okay. Come here. You just wanna be part of it? How fun. <gasps> I love that. And the thing, cool thing with stamps too is like you can have it, um, you know, off the image if you wanted a specific whatever. You could totally like not have to do the full center if you don't want to. Mm -hmm. Like anybody could do whatever. Save. So you're gonna go ahead and heat those. Yeah, I'm gonna cover it first because I don't want to accidentally heat all this. And it's, uh, that would be not good. Now, do these have to dry out or anything now that they have the sticky on it? I usually just uh, take my glove and go, or, you know, like this with my glove when I'm done with something to help it. There's actual cleaners you're supposed to use. You're not supposed to use alcohol on stamps because it actually damages your stamp over time. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. So, um, but yeah. So that's what I do. I just stamp it off with a piece of paper or something, and so it's not super sticky. Put them away until I can order the stuff you're supposed to do with. And then once you set too, you can always like then wipe off your chalky chalk. There we go. Woo! This is so rad. You can really see that, like, starting to shimmer up. Whoops. These are the stickies. Oh, I almost did it without the chalk. Again. Right? I, every time, man. I would never have thought that you had to chalk it, but I guess I should watch more YouTube videos. Right, and that's how I learned because I didn't, I just had the embossing, well actually I got embossing powder accidentally not knowing what, I thought it was just glitter, and I didn't realize, and I was like, when I read it, I'm like, embossing powder, like what the heck is that? So I had to Google it, or YouTube Googly searching, or whatever you want to call it, 
And then I was like, oh. And then I'm like, what is that tool that people are using? But they weren't saying chalk or chalk pillow or calling it anything that I knew how to. So I really had a hunt to figure it out on Amazon what it was. Because nobody had it linked. Nobody really said what they were doing. I was kind of like, what? All the videos at least I saw. Mm. So it was kind of a challenge. But then I finally figured out what it was, you know, used for, how why it helped. So I'm like, what is it? That thing they're using. I see people using like. <laughs> and then you figured it out. Uh huh. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I have horrible eyesight, so I just realized it's the patchiness. It's not meant to be. No. So this fell off. So what I'm going to do is just put it back on. Put it. Well, that has the powder on it now. It doesn't matter. Well, it wasn't sticking. So I'm just going to do this. Yeah. Alcohol it and clean it, and then it will be good to go. Because you want it to not like mess up. Now it's on there. No. Because cool. otherwise, when this gets sometimes from the of the pad, I just uh, use alcohol and wipe this off with the alcohol so that way it doesn't come off you know yeah on you. so I'm gonna use one of these like lighter ones Ooh, this hot Ooh, hot 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 Ooh, hot 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 So no, that's ink, Joplin. Ink pads, you definitely want to always cap as soon as possible, just so that way these don't dry out super fast. Aww. Oh, yes. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, so there's that one. Well, earlier I asked if, you know, I was like, okay, y'all, let's go outside. And she was just like, nah. I'm good. I think she just doesn't like being outside here. Maybe it's kind of busy. So mm -hmm. when she's small. Fun, fun, fun. Super fun. And it's going to be even funner once you heat them up because that totally changes it, you know? Right. So this one's done. This just need to be resin. Oh, I put it over there. Okay, for the resin? Yeah. So. Hello, Miss Joplin. Hello, Miss Princess. I hope you guys learned a lot from this experimentation. Do you want other colors right here, too? These yeah. Matte. We're going to finish the rest of them off because I don't want to run this too long yeah like yeah, i'm a we, slow arter <laughs> now we'll just keep we'll just keep it going anyways you guys thank you so much for coming in and seeing what we're up to don't forget to read all of these things join us on all the other social media areas wait they're over here um be kind to one another you never know what someone's mm -hmm. going through and we'll see y'all next time bye i said bye